Welcome to the Fog of Time. I'm your host, Darren Fogg, and tonight we have a very special episode for you. He was in the news, you might have heard a couple of weeks ago. A certain wanted man was found in Pakistan. He'd been in hiding for about six or seven years, and I have for him tonight an interview that may shed some light onto this mysterious person known as Osama bin Laden. Now tonight, we're going to look at the Osama bin Laden outside of the myth. We're going to get into the man. Because I have not just him, I have his personal courier and his most recent wife. Wife number, I believe it's seven. So, it should be a fun time. Thanks for coming in. We'll be right back with Osama bin Laden. part of this festival. I know it's the first annual festival, so I'm very um, I'm excited about that. It's been a great, a wonderful opportunity, so many different films, different mm -hmm. topics, and I've just I've enjoyed it. I personally had harbored a desire or an ambition to do a film festival, but had not gone about doing anything for it because I knew it was a lot of work and I didn't have the time. So. Luckily for us, Dennis decided to do it. I'm very happy to be accepted here at Dennis's great festival. And you know, when you put a lot of work into something and you get acknowledged, it makes you feel good. Our universe, full of endless possibility and questions. Earth, so familiar and yet so full of mysteries all its own. These questions of origin, of time, discovery, history with no answers. This shared knowledge should have been passed down through the ages, but was lost with the only people who truly knew having long since turned to dust. Or so we thought. Now, Armed with my ability to travel through time, I, Darren Fogg, invite you on a journey from our ancient history to our present day, where I will bring guests back to the studio answering these questions and more. We may yet unravel the mysteries that have been lost in the fog of time. Okay, and we're back. As I said, my first guest tonight is probably the most wanted fugitive in the world, or he was up to a certain point a couple weeks ago. We grabbed him from about two years ago after he'd been in hiding in Abbottabad. Ladies and gentlemen, Osama bin Laden. Mr. Bin Laden? You're in a good mood, okay. Yeah, I shake your hand today. I appreciate that. Have a seat, sir. I will sit when I want to sit. At your leisure. I see. So, Mr. Bin Laden, thank you for being here, first of all. Yes, of course. Can you tell of us course, a little bit about your childhood? We no. Know, we know so little about you. Okay. I, I grew up uh, with money. With a lot of money, I guess. A yes, lot for that. of money. Daddy had a lot of money. Mr. Bin Laden Sr. was a, was a rich man. Yeah. Daddy Laden. Daddy Laden was very rich. Mm -hmm. And then. Then he died. Then, mm -hmm. when I was a kid, died plane crash. He died in a plane crash. Yeah, big brother died plane crash too. Did he really? Yeah. That's yeah. kind of ironic. Yeah. So I always say, be safe with planes. Interesting. Be safe with planes. So, did you have any favorite memories growing up? Any favorite childhood memories? Things oh that you did? yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, phew, you have very bad. Uh, very bad uh, thing for summer. You will play and you will be dead by the end of the evening. Okay. But when I was a kid, I like to go out and play, you know, game like when you hide. Hide and seek. Yeah, I only hide. You just like to hide. I hide. Okay. Yeah, and I go and uh, I hide and uh, I go to a cave. You hid in caves. And I stay there like forever, man. Okay. Like forever I stay there. But then I have to come home at one point because... I, like I said, daddy rich. I have a lot of money. I have a big mansion. Right. And I'm a city boy, so I have to, at heart, I have to live in a big house. You have to go back to the home. Okay. Yeah, man. I understand you're a huge fan of soccer. 
Arsenal, Arsenal, oh eh, oh eh, oh eh, Arsenal, Arsenal, oh eh, oh eh, oh eh, sing it with me, oh eh, oh eh, oh eh. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a big soccer person. I don't know the song. America, no nothing, America. But, but explain to me, living in Afghanistan, how did you become a fan of the Arsenal soccer club? I think everybody should have an Arsenal. Okay, so you liked more what they stood for than anything else. I like the name, Arsenal. You like the name Arsenal? I think Arsenal is great. Okay, so going back to your family a minute, you came from a family of great wealth, which enabled you to be more of a, a scholar and a student as opposed to a worker. Yes. Did you find that that sort of alienated you from people, or did you make friends easily? I tell you, uh, the thing about me, when I was a student, I studied philosophy. Philosophy, okay. I studied philosophy because, uh, well, I wanted to get some uh, philosophy pussy. <laughs> so there was a lot of ladies in, interested in philosophy. Yeah, man, come on. Think okay. about it. You're like, uh, you know, like a little kid in university or college. Sure. Or you're sitting around campfire or something. Mm -hmm. And I tell them some, you know, philosophical bullshit, you know. It's like right. Life is like, uh, I don't know, I thought of something very original. I would say... Life is uh, like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Interesting. Amazing stuff, right. amazing shit. And they would be like, oh my God, you're so brilliant! I gotta have it inside me tonight. I got a lot of it tonight. Wow. I know, it was great. So did the philosophy help sort of adhere you to a strict Muslim belief? You're, you're a, let me get this name right, a Wahhabi Muslim? A Wahhabi! Wahhabi Muslim. A Wahhabi Muslim. A Wahhabi! Which is, a bit more of a controversial version of Islam, if you don't mind me saying. No, I, it's very reasonable, actually. It's very reasonable. It's but very reasonable. Just to, 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 to for, this, for full disclosure here, they believe that Islam should go back a thousand years. It shouldn't be modern, it should be very conservative. Yeah, but it's very reasonable. Uh, what the, we think that uh, we are right, right, and you are wrong. And we are so wrong. Okay. you should be dead, and we should be here. And it's very reasonable. Okay. Yes. You agree with us, you live. You don't agree, you die. That's the only reason why you are alive, because you agree with us. So it's very reasonable. So it's very cut or dry, okay. It's very reasonable. A lot more cut, less dry, but... It's uh, cut, yes, very cut. So then explain to me, though, you're, you're someone who's very religious. Yes. How did you end up in the military in Russia? Or, I'm sorry, in Afghanistan against the Russians? Uh, okay, you caught me. What's I that? told you I was in university and college yeah. and you know and everything. Occasionally, my mistake, you know, it happens that you would do some stuff. Some drugs, some narcotics, some drugs. Well, you know, you sit around class, you're really bored, you right. get a call, like, oh, you got to come to my house. Oh, that's me. Oh, you know. Okay. Oh, oh, big oh okay. you gotta come to my house. Oh, we got some shit tonight. That's I go there, I take a few puffs, you know, right. have some drinks, have some fun, you know, I'm gay, man. You're a party animal. Yeah, right? man, okay. I'm an animal, you know, I'm an animal. And then this guy gives me a pill, he said it's like, uh, you know, aspirin to make you feel better. It's I an aspirin, okay. Yeah, man, I take it, it turns out to be a fucking shroom, man. One, that pill was pill my pill. first wow. shroom. Okay. And I wake up from that ride and I find myself, I'm at the fucking bed there. You're, so you ended up in Afghanistan on an acid trip, basically, or yeah, on a man. Russian trip? I wake up, I see a fucking red army in front of me, and I was like, "What the fuck just happened, man?" So you it was know? all a big mistake, basically. You didn't, you didn't go there to fight them. You just sort of ended up there. Well, I'd go die for some noble cause, but I'm fucking stupid. Well, then, how did you raise? You, you basically went from being like a soldier there to leading this rebellion. How did that happen? Hey, man, let me tell you something. I was at the border, I was gonna die, so I had to fight. Da, 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 right, da, da, sure. Da, 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 da. We fight, you know, we win. I go and I say, whoo, fuck this shit, I'm alive. Let's have a celebration party. Okay. You know, so I give to everybody a little bit of the pills. You know, I have some shrooms left. Okay. I give it to everybody, and I was like, man, this is some fucked up ride you're gonna have. And they followed me, man. They took the shrooms. So you were like their drug dealer? And I was the only one who did take them, so I told them, go left. They went left. I told them, go right, go right. And I said, man, I fucking control those motherfuckers. Come on! That's that's crazy. Yeah, it's so, crazy. But genius! Because I'm a son. That is, that is an interesting idea, I must admit. Of course. So, let me ask you something. How did you feel being on the side of the Americans? 
originally against the Russians, and now you continue to claim that America is great evil in the world. How did that switch go back? I tell you, I told you I son of a rich daddy, right? Yes, very rich. I told you daddy died plane crash, right? Tragically, yes. Yes. I told you because big brother died, I was child that left with a few sisters, but only son, mm -hmm. okay? So I was treated with very much money, only son, with very, very spoiled. So from when I was little child, I'm used to, I say, Usama want, someone Usama bring. Okay, Understand? so somebody would bring you whatever you yeah, want. exactly. So I fight, you know, against the Russians with the American. And then mm -hmm. I go to America and I say, give me money. They say, no. I say, what do you mean no? I say, no, you don't need no more money. No more uh, reds, no more uh, communism. Okay. You don't give me money? Say, Osama said give money, you don't give money? They say, yeah. I say, okay, you dead, motherfucker. I That's see. It. So they just, they, they got on your it. bad list because they wouldn't give you some and money. I, if I tell you do something, you do it. I you see. don't do it, you die. I told you, I'm very reasonable. That, that is the reason why the reason you do is because you want to live. Sure. You don't do it, you die. So let me ask you, you've been disowned by your home country of Saudi Arabia. Your family's kind of on the outs with you. How does that make you feel? Family. I got so much family, man. I don't does it really phase you? I don't know. You tell me this guy doesn't like you, it doesn't matter. I got five of them. I, I see. Like I don't give a fuck. Family. <laughs> interesting and hey you know country is like you know like college guy i told you i had a lot of parties and stuff going on mm -hmm. i say okay so this country doesn't want me I, it's like a party that you know like a club okay and great parties it closed another club opens so i go to another country i have parties there i see i don't give a fuck interesting Damn. well if you if you hang tight one minute we're gonna be right back we'll just take a quick commercial break we'll be back with more with osama bin laden thanks so Explain to me again, you took a much. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the first episode of Adopted Behavior! We're so not actually siblings? No, we're actually actors hired to play a reality family. I was on one of the first reality shows for people over 70. It was called Last to Die. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when a middle aged divorcee, an aging child star, <laughs> and a trampy Greek girl, all over the same apartment, pursuing the same dream to be an actress. Find out on today's episode of I Hate Actors. <laughs> and a real stickler for the rules, and a free spirit are both charged with managing the same theme restaurant. Find out on tonight's episode of Doc and Marty's Family Restaurant. <laughs> Osama bin Laden. So, Mr. Bin Laden. Okay, that's a new way of introducing yourself. Of course it is. I'm Osama, man. I'm Osama! So, explain to me, how did you found Al Qaeda? I tell you. Well, I tell you I broke up with the. Uh, look at this shit, you see? I have this spot here when I come and it fucking fell apart. What you is see this? It's made in America, man. Why were you wearing America. it, though? Because I had to buy this, because the shit I was wearing over there, I got so much food on it, I said, I have to wear something nice, you know? But this, it okay, so you, you were wearing your formal wear, I see. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, this fucking country, it's like everything crumbles sometimes. Interesting. Listen, but I tell you this, uh, when I was finishing up with the Russians, right? Yes, okay. And the America decided not to give me any more money. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you know, I'm going to sue those motherfuckers. You're going to sue them, okay. Said, Fuck yeah, and I did. Okay. But I couldn't sue them in American court, so I went right. to an English court. Okay. But I couldn't sue them as Osama, you know, I have to have like company, and I said, okay, we have company, we're gonna start a company okay. that like works with English money. Okay. So I had to have like, uh, I was the owner, I was the CEO of everything, you know, it was me. Right, you were in but charge. But I had to have like a, like a guy, like a handyman, or like a chairman of board, something, that's okay. me, but you know, someone. And he has to go and represent me in the court. Right. But he was Afghani. I don't speak good English. Okay. I tell him, listen, the name of the company, because we work with English money, right. is all quids. You know, oh, because quids, they say, like, like yeah, okay. you know, pound the squids, all quids, like financial. Okay. So we can really win this, you know? Okay. I say, you remember the name? I say, yeah, Osama, yeah, yeah. I say, remember the name? Yeah, yeah. I go to the company, I write us down, all quida. 
So I said it's actually you're stupid a motherfucker, and I said all quid, you said all quid. So you're actually known as all quid. I'm all quid, but fuck, I said all quid. Then that's, that's when that stuck. Fuck, I'm all quid, and then we went to do some other stuff, you know, a little bit bombs, some hey, yeah, I, guns. I wanted bombs, to ask you, you how know? did you decide terrorism was the way to go? Because I told you, man, I want to have money, I want to have power, I want to control, and terrorism is fun, man. Terrorism is fun. Fuck, ah, it's fun with the guns, we're like, brrrr. Yeah, I've seen the photos of that. Yeah. yeah, man, it's fucking fun, man. So I wanted to ask you for a minute, what is a jihad? You, you like to declare jihads on people and on things. Is, is that, yeah. What does that mean, exactly? Basically, it's like slang for smart or stupid. Smart or stupid. Yeah, so when you why. declare jihad, something is stupid or Yeah, smart? you know why it's stupid? What? Because he dies. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like I, I tell you an example. If I say something right. and you say, oh, Osama, you're right, I don't say jihad. That means you're smart. Okay. If I say something, you say, oh, Osama, you're wrong, I said jihad on your ass, motherfucker. That means you're stupid because you're dead. Really? That's it. It's interesting. That's it. Well, I'd love to, actually. I, we have a couple projections up here. I'd love for you to tell yeah, me if you would call a jihad on these things. Right? Yeah, so we get the I'll projector you, going. We'll see what we can uh, gleam out of your tastes here. I gleam. If I gleam, I gleam. If I don't gleam, I don't gleam. No. I, I understand. That's perfectly fine. I gleam. But before, as, as this is warming up, tell me for a minute, what is your goal with Al-Qaeda or all quid? I have very, very, very humble goal. Okay. Very reasonable, very humble goal. Sure. And what's that? World domination. World domination. Of okay. course. That's your, that's your, that's your tiny humble little it, goal for Al-Qaeda. That's it, man. That's it. That's all I need. Okay. All I need is the continents and the seven seas. Interesting. That's all I need. Five continents and seven seas. Fascinating. That's, I listen, I'm a very reasonable guy. Yeah. I told you, man. I'm very reasonable you, guy. Do you believe that? It sounds that way. Of course I do. Of course well, I Well, I think our projector just about ready. Let's, uh, let's hit some of the lights and you can tell me jihad or no jihad, basically. Yeah. So first up, the Christians. Yeah. Jihad or no jihad on the Christians? This is Pope Schwarzenegger, huh? Pope Benedict. Yeah, Schwarzenegger. I don't know Pope Schwarzenegger. Look at this ugly motherfucker. I jihad his ass just because of that face, man. What are you talking about? So, so definite jihad on Jihad on the motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, man. Next, next one up. What do we got here? This one should be the Jews. Their jihad on the Jews. Fuck jihad on the Jews. Yeah, man. Now, why is that? Why? Because they never shower. Look at them, man. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, look they're at this ugly them. haircut, man. What the fuck is up with that? Okay, so yeah. Jihad on the Jews too. Yeah, let's let's that, move on man. to the next one. America. Jihad on that, man. Jihad on them. Because yeah. of everything we've spoken about, or is there is there another reason? I thought you said that give me money, man. I told him, Uncle Sam, listen, you uncle, you give me money. You don't give me money, fuck Jihad on them, man. Okay. Give me this ugly little fucking beard. I ripped that fucking beard off. Let's go to the next one now. That crazy motherfucker, I tell you, man. Now, this I understand you. Oh, I do this for all my Yo, this is, uh, this is so sick. I love this game, man. So, no jihad? Why? Wow, crazy, man. This these shit are, is awesome. These man. are all Americans here, though. I'm gonna fuck. It's fucking awesome, man. Okay, so no jihad on Call of Duty 3. Ah, no jihad, man. I wanna take this. I wanna play this, man. Okay. You got this? Come on, let's play this. It's somewhere in the back. We can go after it. Let's go now. If you behave. No, let's go now. Well, wait, we've got some more guests coming. Oh, look at now, man. I know. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. Let's go to the next project. Okay. Black Stallions. Oh, no, man. No Jihad or Jihad? No Jihad. No Jihad. Come on. And why is that? Especially this one. Look at the tiny little pity, 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 you guys. Look at the pity, pity, pity. You see that thing, tiny little pickers? Yes, I do. Yeah, that poor bastard. He already went through a lot of shit. You know, look at the little so you, tiny, you give him a pass because of his I penis size. Pass. No, I give him a pass anyway because he's a horse, but look, he's soft as And why do you like horses so much? Ah, because horses represent nobility. Freedom, okay. stallion, you know, it's it's so great, man. I love it. I love it. I tell you. Let's great. go to the next one here. Ice war. Jihad? No jihad. Uh, Do you have a, a refrigerator and ice machine in your mansion? I say jihad because uh, when I want ice water, after 10 minutes, the ice becomes to water. And I did not approve it. So, I so it, jihad. it's changing on its own. You don't yeah, I don't agree to that. Ice melts too I much want here. ice to be ice and it becomes water. I see. So what the fuck is up with that? Jihad it says. Okay, let's go to the next one now. Yeah. Tractors. What the fuck is that? It's what you use to kind of plow your field, that sort of thing. What is field? Your fields, you know, you have your poppy fields, things like that. I understand you have a, oh, poppy. a couple of marijuana, uh, marijuana plants you got there. This is what you use to farm. You use machine? Yeah. I use people. You use people. So different. 
So jihad or no jihad on this? I don't know. It's machine, man. I don't know. It's waste, I think. So this one, you're going to pass on that. I don't know what this is. Okay, well, we'll move on then from that. Rock and roll room music. Rock and roll music with Jimi Hendrix, for instance. Jihad, man. Jihad? Yeah, jihad. Why is that? Because I can't play it. <laughs> so you're jealous of him. I, uh, jihad, that's all I say. Okay, just jihad, all right. Don't, 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 don't make me jihad you, man. I, I, I don't make me jihad you. I misspoke. I jihad you and you'll be jihaded in two minutes. I will be gone, yes, that's true. That's it. Well, let's move on to the next one from here. This one I know you like. Arsenal! Arsenal! Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey! Arsenal! Arsenal! Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey! Vieira, oh, oh! He comes from Senegal! He plays for Arsenal! Yeah, man! Arsenal! They play today? I think you like that one. Right? I think they play this weekend. Yeah! Let's, let's, let's move on. I think we, we think we know you like that one. How about chewing gum? Uh... That has got to be the devil's work. The devil's work? Yes. Why is that? Look at this. This is not natural, man. It's true. It's not found in nature. Yeah. Not have you ever form. spoken to the devil? I if you ever speak to the devil, ask him this. Ask him about chewing gum? Yeah, man. Okay. It's fucking crazy. All right, let's, let's go on to the next one, then. Pornography. What about it? I understand you're a fan. I appreciate the work. You appreciate the work? I do. What aspects of the work? The, the cinematography? That it's very hard. Ah, I got it! 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 Very hard. So, so no, no jihad on pornography? Ah, man, come on. Doesn't that kind of go against your Wahhabi religion, though? Fuck that shit, man. I want to see some action! I see. All right, then let's go to the last one now. You brought him up earlier. Tom Hanks. I didn't bring him up earlier. You said life was like a box of chocolates. Yeah. That was something he said when he was Forrest Gump. Right? So. Now I said that shit. He stole from me? Maybe you he... stole from me, you motherfucker? You jihad? You dead? He dead in five minutes. He dead. You so... see this shit? You see the flames? It's flames of, of jihad coming to get you. That's right, you crazy motherfucker. He dead. He stole from me? I say something and he say it again? Ah, you dead. So jihad on Tom Hanks. Jihad on Tom Hanks. Sorry about where, that. Where Tom Hanks? Where I talk to Tom Hanks? You jihad, man. You jihad. Run, Tom. Run. Run, Tom. Run. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you for sharing some of this enlightening information on us. We'll be right back with more with Osama bin Laden. Look at this crazy mother. Hi, I'm Ray Wagner, and I'm the host of a brand new show here on eGarage.tv called Still Standing with Ray Wagner. It's a show that features live stand-up comedy, and then we do an interview in front of the people uh, talking about comedy, and um, it requires an audience. So if you like watching it on the site, imagine how much more you'd love it here, because at the end, we end it with a make-out party. So if you like stand-up comedy or making out, make sure you check out Still Standing with Ray Wagner on eGarage.tv. Okay, and we're back with Osama Bin Laden. I'd actually love to bring out one of your couriers. Okay. But I understand he kind of got lost. I so take care of that for my man. I take care of it. Oh, you're going to call him? Yeah, I do. Oh, Talib! Talib, come on, Talib! Talib, you in? Oh, you found it. Okay, great. Yeah. You got it? Yo, you got my shit? Oh, yeah, bring it, man. Yeah, bring it, man. Come you brought on. you a Budweiser. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. I need my You drink drink. Budweiser? I drink everything, man. You drink everything? I drink everything. So, so, so. I'm so fucked up, I drink a piece of a camera, man. You would? So, shit. So, how did you meet this man? How did you meet Osama bin Laden? <sighs> on the street one day. On the street? Really? What were you doing? Just walking up the street and you walking saw Walking up the street. I saw him over there. He seemed like a nice guy. He said, You can be a courier for me. I have a lot of women. I got <clears> pornography. <throat> Sign me up, amigo. That's a pretty good deal, I would think. Now, do you share his goals, or do you, you consider yourself a terrorist also? Yes. Yes, do you? Yeah, I'm not really a political type, you know. Okay, so you're, more, yes. you're more of a worker. Okay, and you do what he says, that sort of thing. So, I understand you moved in to the compound with him with your family. Has that been a hard adjustment period? It's wonderful. Early after bed, I go there, we pray every day. Okay. Every morning, three times a day, we're five times a day now, right? Five. Okay, five times a day. Five. He has wonderful family, the wives, their beautiful children. Our, our children play together. Okay. He teaches my children how to work with planes. Uh, you know. Really? Okay. Just, I do. 
Now, how did you feel moving, having another family move in with you? You're a very private man. Did, did that kind of... I said I already have 29, make it 30. The oh. fuck is the difference? Okay, that's fair enough. So, explain to me what you do as his courier. You, you're his, you run errands for him? What exactly do you do? <clears throat> Anything the man wants, I'm there. 24, like uh, the company you have in America, Federal Express or something. FedEx, right. Okay. FedEx, something like that. Anything he wants, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When it absolutely mm -hmm. has to be there. Okay, so you're, you're his personal FedEx. Every, everything from, exactly. from, from food exactly. to women to, to, to uh, that. Yeah, that he stuff seems too. to be a fan of the drug. Right. Yeah. I, want, I don't want to break no laws. I don't ask what's in the package. Okay, so you plead ignorance, you just whatever he asks. Very easy to plead ignorance. Sure. So what, what what's the usual delivery? Like, what's a Monday delivery you usually have to make? It's a lot of food. I understand you like Coke and Pepsi? Yes, I do. At the same time? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I call them Spessy. 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 Interesting. Yeah. I'm lucky. One time I bring him Royal Crown. <laughs> oh, was not a fan of the Royal They were out of the Pepsi. They were out of what he wanted. I had to... What do you mean, out? Pepsi. There is no out. I will sign up and let him tell you there is no out, man. That is no out. I'm telling you, I'm a son of a lemon. You're telling me out? I mean, I'm the bear. I don't like bring you the... I know what bar. What are you talking about? I don't like the bear. There is no bear. I don't like the I don't like the bear. I don't like the bear. I don't like the bear. I don't the bear. Yeah, I don't like the bear. Okay. It's close enough. It I mean, is close enough. So, so what, what's the strangest thing? The what's the strangest thing you've gotten to this, this fellow right here? You know what? Once, you know what he sent me one time. What's that? He said, "Man, I go bring watermelon. It's a big type of a fruit, and he puts vodka in it and stuff." Really? You imagine vodka with watermelon? That's uh, interesting. And you had that as a snack, or was that something you just did on a? You had a lot of free time that day? No, I was out of weed. I wanted to get high, man. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So, so why don't fucked you, up shit, man? Why don't you walk me through? What's a typical day like for you? When do you get up? I get up when. When, when I say get up, he tells you to get up. He tells me exactly. to get up. I get up. Okay. Early, late. Like, he said, get up. I'm up. Okay. We pray together. We have our first prayer together. Mm -hmm. Then we start. We, if he sends me out, I go do some things. Sometimes I help him. I put the porn out. Oh, I'm running out of pornography. You know. Yeah, we've established he does. He is a, a fan right. of pornography. Know, okay, so I don't want to ruin his. You can tell us. Okay, we put mm -hmm. it on. I put it that way. Then every once in a while, he makes me call up Charlie Sheen. Charlie <laughs> Sheen. He gets on a conversation. Charlie Sheen is my biggest forth. client, man. He's your biggest client. Yeah, you I sell Charlie Sheen. Drugs, man. Oh. You know the fucked up thing about Charlie Sheen is? What's that? One time, I went outside. I picked up some grass from my lawn. Right, some regular, some lawn grass. Some grass. I saw it through. I thought it was weed, man. And he, and he did it? He took it? He smoked it. He was so hot that day. Was that the day he decided to quit two and a half men, maybe? I think it was the day that he got arrested for the 15th time. Wow. Yeah. That's... That was a mad story. That is a milestone. It is. So let me ask you, what do you tell your neighbors when you leave the compound? Because he doesn't. And you walk outside. Nothing. The you tell them nothing. Nothing. I Never. Walk in, that's it. Nothing. Never. Nothing. Never. Come over there. So what? What you talking about? This compound? Get away. That's nothing. It. You just Never. you just walk away from them. That's it. Walk away. Completely. I shoot them. You shoot they them. They say words. That's it. They're finished. Wow. I shot one time. One guy. That's it. Now they shut up. And... Okay. So they learn, they learn their lesson not to ask too much. Never talk if nobody told you to talk. Interesting. Never. Would, would you say he's a good boss? <clears throat> he good I have health insurance. Your health insurance. Two weeks vacation. Okay. French <laughs> Riviera. The French Riviera, really? Of course, of course. Life is nothing if you don't have your health, mm -hmm. and life is nothing if you don't like to enjoy it. Interesting. So I, get, I, I get personal right. days off. How much better does it get? Yeah. Wonderful man like this. He knows so many people are friends. I even get sometimes free air, free air travel sometimes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm planning on putting him on one of my planes very soon. I see. Very so. So, has it been tough adjusting to this new lifestyle where you don't have a computer, you don't have a landline, you're kind of isolated? Is that is that tough for you adjusting to? Or? No, not really. You know, years ago, before telephone, before you have landlines, my mother called me, she screamed at me, Oh, come! So now that's when he screams me, he yells, come in the morning, when he, when he wants something, it's no problem. Okay. I go back, we have the cell phone sometimes. The computer, what's a computer for? Pornography, anyway. All they say on the computer is, Pornographic website, so we don't need, we have our own. That's yeah, so we don't need the web yeah. Sometimes when I have a wild night with one of my women, mm -hmm. I wake up and I scream, come, because he needs to clean it from the Oh, bed. I so, see. You know, but usually it works out pretty good. That, that's I, that's every good. time I do that, I, mean, I make him give me two extra days of, of you know, time vacation off, time. time, time yes. So what is it that Westerners, Americans specifically, just don't understand about this man? Because it sounds like you adore him. 
He's a peaceful man, a wonderful man. He's persecuted. He's persecuted. Wonderful. Yeah. Look at him. Does he look like he could hurt anybody? Do you think he would have seven wives? Seven, is it now? Yeah, unfortunately. If he was not, uh, you know, fortunately. Uh, I think the last one was a mistake. Is that, I think, not my business. I think, what goes I don't on? know. See, if it is wives, it's not my bad. Well, it, it, it's fascinating you bring up wives because we not actually we have the seventh wife. Here. No. So actually, we're gonna take a quick commercial no. break. And we're gonna come back with the seventh and most recent wife in Osama bin Laden. We'll be right back. This is going. You ask, what is breaking through? It's a state of mind. It's not the steady diet of Charlie Sheen and Britney Spears, although I love that as much as the next guy. It's about a perspective on living so that we can take whatever life throws at us and find a way of moving forward and up in the midst of it. That's Breaking Through. I'm W.J. O'Reilly. I hope to see you 8 o'clock Friday nights. Be there. All right, finally tonight I have a special treat. This is Osama bin Laden's seventh and most recent wife, let me get the name right. Zita Supermati Bin Laden. Zita. <laughs> so Zita, tell us, how did you meet Mr. Bin Laden? She met me at a field one time. She was in a small field in the village. Right. And uh, she went to pick strawberries. You're picking strawberries. And I was outside playing the football. Okay. And I see her and I say, that is nice black strawberry. And they say, no, it's not black strawberry. It's woman. She was thin. She's very thin. Okay. No, she was thin. Oh, she was thin. She was thin. I said, bring her to me. She's my wife. Really? Yeah, she's my wife. So how, how was the wedding, Zita? Was it a nice wedding at least? It was a great wedding. Amazing wedding. I tell you, I was wonderful. I had so much sex that wedding. With, with your wife? No, with the other women. Oh. But I came back two days later. I had sex with her. Okay. You know, I was good. I was so happy at the wedding. I even allowed her to eat. <laughs> you allowed her to eat? Okay. Yeah, I was very happy. Great wedding. Great that, wedding. That's nice. Great. So, Zita, is it tough being the seventh wife for one man? No, it's great to be my wife. I tell you why. I tell you why. Because I'm such great man. I'm Superman. Okay. You know, you bring me seven wives, no problem. I give to her, 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 her. So you're, you're very equal among I'm yourself. very equal, and I have very, 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 very much to give. Okay. I'm thinking of another seven wives. You're going to go for another yeah, seven? Yeah, man. I'm going for the record. My God. All right. Yeah. So, so, Zita, how is he as a husband? I'm a great husband. I tell you, I'm so generous. I give anything. You shut the fuck up already? God! No. Why? You put the game oh. over here. Oh, you didn't put the game. You want to know what kind of fucking husband he is? Yeah, yeah. He's the worst husband in the world. The worst husband? Look at him. Now, why is that? Look at him. He's so dirty and schleppy. Is there any intimacy at all? or? Intimacy? Yeah. You want to talk about intimacy? You want to know what our intimacy is? Sure. Our form of foreplay is him beating the shit out of me every fucking night. Of course. That's and then I kick him in his balls and he passes out for two hours. That's not fun, but it happens. Interesting. Yeah, and that might explain your voice a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah well, you know, that's how it's up to everything. Interesting. So Why you tell him the truth for once? I always tell the truth from how I see it. Whatever. Zita, how, how is he around the house? What do you mean around the house? Does he, does he work? What does he, what does he do? He doesn't do shit. He doesn't do shit? He sits around and plays video games all day. He plays video games all day. He doesn't do anything. Yeah, he goes to office in the middle of the living room. In the middle of the living room? Yeah. It's a ceremony to Allah. I tell you, it's a ceremony Shut to Allah. Shut the fuck Nobody cares. Okay. Now, what do you do around the house while I'm he's playing video games? You don't do anything either? I do my nails. I do my makeup. Okay. Not that it really impresses my my so-called husband. Yeah, because somebody's watching Jersey Shore a lot. Too much Jersey Shore. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. I see. Yeah. I can get a little connection to my own culture, okay? So yeah. shut the fuck up. You're right. I think I'm gonna start calling her Snooky, but we'll Whatever. see. Interesting. So, how do the other wives treat you? <laughs> Those fucking bitches. Are you kidding me? The just, first night I got there, I wake up yeah. at three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. What do I find in my fucking bed? A king cobra. Ah, a fucking cobra. snake. Yeah, man. Um, did you do anything about this, Osama? He no. took it out of bed. He cooked it for dinner the next he day. He cooked it for dinner. He Let me care. tell you something, Darren. Girls will be girls, will be girls, will be girls, will be yeah, girls. Exactly. It doesn't matter. Wife number one, number five, number seven. Girls is girls. They see other girl, 
they get jealous, so they want to put cobra in bed. It's natural. You let it slide. You let it slide. It's gone. It's okay. It's interesting. Have you noticed a lot of tension between the wives when I, you go? I, I, I can't listen. She's trashing this Superman, this wonderful man. Listen to Freddy. Who the fuck Why are you? Are you? Who the fuck are you? I said, where is he from? Awesome. from? He's mine. I tell him to be him. Why, him. Why do you have him Why to you say trashing, about my man? You're trashing this one. I know it goes on. You're trashing this wonderful man. Thank you. Thank you. This Thank is not a wonderful man. I'm a great man. Tell her, I'm a great man? She's great man. This is the man. So you're trashing this man. It sounds like there's a lot of tension in here. Who are you? He, I believe he's one of uh, Mr. Milan's couriers. He's a... Uh, she doesn't, she's she sees me now. Uh, she doesn't even know, know who I am. So what does that tell you about her brain? Snooky. Snooky is like Einstein next to this one. Really? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like Einstein. Like Einstein. like Einstein. like Einstein. Interesting. Like Einstein. So explain to me this then. How is he as a father to these children? Are any of the children yours or? Me? I don't have fucking kids. You don't have any kids with kids with this asshole, they'd be the, the hairiest little monkeys. I'm not, his kids are already so You old. bitch! One time I had a kid that was looking kind of like a camel. Now every time I'm gonna have a kid, it's gonna be an animal. It was one time. I don't know how one I time. deal with you every one day. One time. Shit happens, you I, know? I, I have to give him a little credit. I'll, I'll give him a little credit. He's not the worst father in the world. Thank you very okay. much. He beats the shit out of them every day. But of course. He plays video be... games with them. You yeah. Know? He he's been telling them all the time. Rooms. I do. I do. They bring a little headphone, you know, whatever they're Oh, they're playing in uh, the PlayStation 3. That's how they communicate. Yeah. They play with railroad trains. He plays with railroad trains. No, he trains. doesn't. Railroad trains. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I just want to get a little bit. They're like teenagers. Why do they play with railroad trains? I just want to get a little bit. Because they know he's the best man in the world, so they... They do anything he says, it's and he's getting somebody paying attention to him. That's like this one over here. She doesn't do nothing. The opposite. A man like him, you have to pay attention all the time. So what do the what do the rest of the wives do then? Whatever I tell them. Whatever they, whatever you tell them. Yeah. I don't do anything. Okay. They're the ones. They'll cook. They'll clean or whatever. But I'm not that kind of. Okay. Woman. You guys have like a family dinner at the end of every night, or? Yeah, we, we all we sit dinner. in the living room together. Though. I sit alone. They do whatever alone. they want to do. I see. That's family. I you sit in the fucking corner. But you I'm sit in the corner. Of course. Okay. Look at her. Of he course. told me last she week I had to put her in the timeout chair. She's in the timeout chair. Okay. Can't yeah. behave. You go in the timeout chair. I don't see no fucking timeout chair. I don't know who you are. Why are you here? What does that tell you? I'm around the house all the time, and she doesn't know who I am. So what does that tell you about how you know what the way she's thinking? So if she can't think about me, you think she's gonna? Oh look. Well, let me let me ask I think, you this. I have a feeling you two are gonna fucking end up together. Okay. What do you mean? That'd be interesting. What do you mean? I you were in love with each other. What I thought you had it once when I was in college. No. Just no. once. I thought you had it once. Why you always do this? It's only once, baby. It was happened once. It was two guys, but it was once. It's two guys. So I was happened once. I told you I was in college. I did some heavy shit, you know. Right. I told you about this. So come on, man. Let it go. Now let me ask you this: Do you want your children to follow in your footsteps as a terrorist leader, or would you prefer them to go in a different direction? Well, to tell you the truth, I think... I feel really sorry for them if they follow in your path. You sorry, won't. I just wanted to say that. Why are you sorry for them? They have Osama as father. They are the luckiest children in the world. Because you smell bad, and you're a fucking bad father, okay? You want to know the truth? I don't smell bad. Yeah, you smell I don't really smell bad. bad. No, I don't smell bad. I smell a little bit bad, but not bad. They should never have to grow up and be like you. Now they're not going to be like you. Do you want your sons to follow in Mr. Milan's footsteps? There's no question about it. Absolutely. Are you kidding? They're going to get, what you were, 72 virgin, I think you said it was? I said, but who knows? 72, what's your difference? 72, 71 virgin. It's not like they'll do anything with that. It doesn't matter, all the virgins. How much better is getting life than that? No, listen, I do a lot with my sex, otherwise. It's your mouth. It's your mouth. He likes men. I do not, tell her, do I like men? Don't like men. I don't like men. Do. I don't like men. Right? I don't like men. I never saw like men. Shut up! Do I like men? Shut up! 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 Shut up!
I'm gonna have to throw my chair. You know what? Let's talk this out. Let's talk this out. Let's not throw. Let's talk this out. Yeah, sure it is. Why did you marry? It seems like you guys are. Because I'm fucking hot, that's why. You married her because she was attractive. The other wives are men. Other men, they have fucking mustaches and beards. So she's the the most full groomed of your wives. You believe her? I don't know. I I married her because somebody told me, somebody told me that she doesn't know how to talk. Apparently, she doesn't know how to talk. It wasn't very accurate. Sorry, baby. Okay. Yeah, not sorry as I am. Not not the best advice I ever gave somebody. Oh, I'd say so. I'd say so. You know, if you win some, what do you do, American way? You win win some, you lose some. some. Sure. That's, I guess, the way to Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with the the end of this interview. Thank thank you all for being here. You're all great sports. We'll be right back with the uh, conclusion of the interview. You're dead. You're dead. It's time to live my bliss. This is going to be an incredible, incredible episode. Yes! I say that for you to say, what is your dream? And when are you gonna start taking action on it? You can do the same thing. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you all so, so much for coming today. I'm so honored you could be there. This is so exciting. My first show. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time on Absolute Lou. Thank you so much. All right, and we're back. And is there anything you guys can agree upon? It seems like you guys just don't get along at all. Surprisingly, there actually is one there thing. There is. What is that? There's one thing. Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. <laughs> Guns Guns and roses. roses. Now, what, is there a specific song or? Paradise City. That's right. Oh. Okay. That is right. Would you like to do a rendition of that for us, sir? Uh, I always get it right, but yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. And a one, you get two, three, four, five. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the boys are pretty. I want to You said boys. You did say boys. You said yes. yes. You said yes. You said yes. I said girls. You 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 said girls. He's unsure of himself as a person. I am not gay. And I have sympathy for you, honey. Okay. Well, Don't have sympathy for me, bitch! Fuck you. So, Fuck you. Let, me, let me ask you something, Osama. Whenever you make these videotapes, these messages, these speeches, you seem very concerned about your looks. Would you say you're a vain person? No. How's my hand? No. Is it good? He dyes his beard. Vain? He dyes his beard. He dyes his beard. Oh, I even by bringing the L'Oreal stuff to his house. Number 427. It's like royal black is the color that you Really? Exactly. Interesting. Yes. Yes. So. I have to look good, man. My followers, course. they have to follow me. They won't follow an ugly woman. If I put her on, they'll be I catch women. him sometimes. I'll open the bathroom door because right. he's snorty pants, so he doesn't lock it. And he's standing in front of the mirror naked and he's dying his pubic hair. Oh my god. <laughs> well, excuse me for getting. Excuse me for getting all over. The a little obsessive. So, how do you delegate your time between all these people? You have seven wives, you have a couple of couriers. How do you like decide who you're going to spend your date with? Depends on my mood. Depends on your mood, okay. If I smoke the loud and I eat the munchies, he gets my attention because he needs to bring me some fucking munchies, son. Okay. Yeah, when I get the craving, it's going to be here. Interesting. Yeah, but I want to punch someone. I go talk to her. Okay. Yeah. And my other six wives, when I'm horny. <laughs> Interesting. 
So let me ask you all this. I'll go one at a time, starting with you. What do you think is Osama bin Laden's legacy? That he's not gay. That he's not gay? Yes. What would you say, having worked for him for so long? What is his legacy? I know nothing about gay. First, let me state that from the beginning. I, See? Nothing, nothing with me. I know nothing about that. I think his legacy, that he was able to attract women, that they loved him all the time. Most of them. At right. Least. That his, 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 he, he was a wonderful man, always misunderstood, particularly in the West. You know, the mm -hmm. Americans, they, they misunderstood him. A wonderful man just teaching people how to, you know, to fly planes and things, and it just you know, happened somehow uh, into a building. I mean, it was supposed to go into a cloud into a building. Right? So you're saying it was a mistake? You're saying 9-11 was a mistake? That's what he says. Okay. I believe in that. So, so Zita, not, not to offend you, but you're about 20 years, 30 years younger than him. There's a good chance you may have a life after him. I fucking hope so. <laughs> no, she does not have a life after tonight, so forget it after me. Okay, no, but no, hypo shit. hypothetically. You're so afraid of hy him. Hypothetically, what have you learned from this experience that you'll take to your life after Osama? I have to say, I've learned that I definitely deserve mm -hmm. a lot of money and a lot of power. Okay. My daddy always told me, marry big. Okay. You know what I mean? Right, marry up. So sure. I definitely got a lot of money out of this situation. Okay. But Are you going to be intimate with your other husbands like you were with him, or? Well, I don't know. It really depends on if they're attractive. I see. But That's I don't think married for, for, you know, for looks or anything like that. I just married for money. Interesting. So Obviously. <laughs> Osama, what? Once you go Osama, you never go back. She's not going to be intimate with anybody. Keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Once you go Osama, you never go back. I'm telling you. That's interesting. So, yeah. is there something you want to set tell the Western audience? You know, the floor is yours for the next 20 seconds. What is it that we don't understand that you wish we did? That I am really here to promote peace and prosperity for me. For you? Yes. Not for anybody else? Exactly. Okay. And you'll do that by any means necessary? I come with peace, okay. but also with a gun. So if you're in my way, you're fucking dead. And then where does the piece come in? It comes after? Yeah, because You're resting you in have a few pieces. Oh, okay. So you will be in pieces. Interesting. So quickly, one last question for all of and you. And then I piss on your dead body, too. Wow, that's, that's pretty extreme. It's a big gay thing. Let me ask you all this. Are you fans of seals? Yes, I am. You're a fan of seals? Actually, it's funny you say it. On my way over here, I saw a nice group of six seals. You did? Six seals. It was great. Lovely. Love them. That's ironic. So beautiful. Kissed them, each and every one of them. Hmm. And you know why they were great? Because there were six seals. No fucking seven. So seven's a little too much? Yeah, I think seven maybe is a little too much. Maybe we need to cut seven. Maybe we need to cut seven completely out. You got the knife? You got some work? I'll go get it right now. Which yeah, one you do you want? Get it. I the can borrow one. one from OJ. Get the big one. Why don't no, you go no, with him? You guys can have a little fun back there. Yeah. Don't forget about it. All right, well, it's, it's been a pleasure about, having you all here. About, I, I think we've learned a lot. A lot of things we didn't realize we ever could have figured out from Osama bin Laden. Thanks you all for being here. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Good evening, and welcome everyone to the first ever taping of The Fog of Time. We're coming to you live from Long Island City, right underneath the 7 train. We're going to be bringing you guests from throughout time and bring them here in the studio and let them answer questions in their own words. I ended up in jail for it, as right. you often do. Uh, when you're trying to completely take over a country. I don't drink or eat blood. Okay, well. I bathe in blood. You bathe in blood, okay. I bathe in blood. You bring him in, I kill him now. I'll tell you this. I am a free spirit, as they call it, you know? Because you capitalist pigs, you don't understand. But I hope, from watching this show, you got to see a little bit of what was underneath that. And I hope you tune in next time as we delve into more characters like that. Have a good night. <laughs>